Hey guys, what's going on? Prex here, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a guide to the Death Singer checkpoint in the King's Floor raid. Now, this is the final checkpoint before you face on Oryx, and it's actually the same room where you faced Oryx, so get to know the room well because you you will be spending a lot of time in here, most likely. But anyway, in this video, I'm going to tell you guys what you need to know and what is, is the best way possible to do this. So, anyway, when you first spawn in here, somebody will be torn between dimensions and w w what that basically is is that they get like a cloak uh, ability but that also means that they have to grab the relic or bond whatever that thing called as you guys see as my friend is grabbing right now so w once you do get that then what you have to do is slam it into the wizard's bubble that is not flaming it is very important that it's not flaming because the, the wizard who's flaming, I'm assuming it is immune. I've never tried it, but it seems like she's immune. But basically, what you want to do for the first wizard is put as much DPS in her as possible, but don't kill her because if you kill her, then then the second wizard will be hard to, to kill. So it's very important that you get her low, but you don't actually kill her. So that is very important. But so, so as you guys see here, we're on the second wizard. And we got her down to half health, and don't worry if you only get the second wizard down to, ha to half health, but but don't kill her, because could you still have time? But anyway, so what you want to do is, for your third run, kill the first wizard, and then what you you want to do is clear out ads, and uh, if you didn't kill the second wizard for your second run, that then what you want to do is kill the second wizard on, on your fourth run, and because I'm not sure how many chances chances you get but it is very important to kill here early and stuff like that and the, the reason you want to get the first wizard low is because once you kill the first wizard then the second wizard will be like almost impossible to, to kill and they get a lot harder to kill so so you do not want them at full health so it's very important that you guys get them get the first wizard low as possible but also don't kill so that you could have an easier time shooting at the at the second wizard and stuff like that now as for the bon and whoever gets the relic or whatever you want to call it you you have to make sure that you're all inside the white circle when the timer does run out because if you're outside of it then you will die from it and there's there's nothing more stressful than dying and having to wipe because you need at least five people alive to do this part at all times now as for the platforms let me explain that quickly so basically four people per platform one per platform and then and the person who's torn between two dimensions goes with the person who has to go on first and it goes in, in a counterclockwise order so for example so the person who has to step on first they'll go the torn between the dimensions person will go with them and then it goes in, in a counterclockwise position from where the relic is so it, it'll, it'll change every time so assign people to a certain platform and yeah it should be good and also have high dps because you, you will need it for the death center but yeah guys i'm so happy for, for this quick guide on how to do the death center checkpoint if you guys enjoy please smack the like button subscribe if you're new stay, stay tuned for our future videos peace out guys yeah!